turning on the iron because I've got some stuff to deal with my hair first. So I tried this the other day and it worked out really well. Really proud moment of curling my hair, my first beachy wave for my short hair. Okay, my products. Flexible Hold Hairspray. It's conditioning foam, leave-in conditioner. That's in my hair right now. I think after you, you bleach and color and all that, you need some protein boost. I think. Don't quote me on that. Dry oil. That's what I spray in after I'm done. <laughs> Straightening mist. I got bugs, guys. I don't really. Just calm down. I don't have any bugs. I just have dry skin. <laughs> I just burned my finger on the iron. Tip numero uno. When you turn the iron on, don't touch it. It hurts. Hair tie. I like to kind of pile my hair what's left on top. My kids love talking to me, so wrap it up in the ponytail is what I do anyway. I always find, I say always, once. This is not always. The last like few days that I've had short hair, when I curled it once, once. it's better to curl my hair the next day. I don't know, my hair's just always held curl better like when I let it rest. And as we go along, like I'll find random little pieces that I'll just be like, chop. I'm doing layer by layer and I want conditioning foam to be as evenly spread out through my hair as possible because of how colored my hair is. So I want as much conditioning, whatever stuff that I can have. A flat iron protector, I try to spray evenly. And now I'm just gonna take little sections and I do diagonally and it doesn't take much. I'm still practicing, this is my only my second time to do this. Now I'm going the other way. I don't know what way I just did it. Okay. When I'm too particular, then I get really cranky. Next layer. Top bun for the win. This much conditioning foam for each little layer. You're wanting volume um, and a bit of a wave. <laughs> and let's go. Oh, it's hot. I forget which direction I just went. Do whatever you feel. Fly by the seat of your pants here. I'm trying to get the ends a little bit, but I'm not being crazy about it. Another key to the beachy wave is that you have some ends to work with and it looks less ringlet-like because you don't want it to look like you just curled it. See, uneven, but we don't care about that. Oh, maybe I do care about that. Got so much hair everywhere, guys. Okay, last little top layer. It's a bit more sticky than I would like, Gubna. A bit more! I made kind of the full wide shot here. Do like so, and I'm gonna leave the ends. I'm not gonna just keep trying to wrap it in there. Leave a little bit at the ends and a little bit at the top so it can swoop over without any problem. I am by no means an expert. Please do not take all of this th these things that I'm doing as expert advice. I am practicing. The only reason I'm leaving room up here is because I want it to be able to swoop over. Another beauty of my hair being so short is that it doesn't take long to curl it. Let's go back through and make sure there's nothing that you missed. Ah, hair fail. Hair fail video. Okay, so that's what we want. I mean, ends are looking straight and our hair is looking more wavy. I'm going to brush up the side here just to the root so it gives it some volume. This is my second time uh, to use a straightening iron to curl my hair. So, second time, guys. So now, done curling, run my hands through. 
you're brushing these these curls out a bit because you want it to be look more natural and not like you just curled it hairspray you guys so i just did the end of my video and realized that it stopped before i was done Yo. What you didn't catch at the end of that last video was uh, me telling you to turn off your straightening iron when you're done. You need to trust yourself. Once you're done, uh, you're done. The more you try to fix it to make it look like you are not trying, the more it looks like that you really tried. Leave it alone and trust yourself with it. That's all.